Hello, today I'll be explaining how to do Gunfort sword only uh, without gachi and sugars. And our structure will be, I'll start out with two examples with my explanations along the way. Like the first is like a slow example where I take all of the, all of like the slow strats that are like really comfy and like really easy to pull off. And then the second example where I do some faster strats that are like a little bit harder, but it's a bit faster, like 40 seconds faster overall. It's not a big deal, but yeah, you can like mix and match strats between the two between the two examples as you please. But yeah, I'll be explaining those two and like what to do and everything. And then after that, I'll explain some like mistakes I've seen from runners over the over the last months. And yeah, after I explain some like common mistakes that I've seen, then I'll just have like the like the raw video of the examples after that just so just for reference if you need to just if you just want to watch like just just the video of like what to do and like what happens but yeah let's uh let's get started okay so jumping right in with the slow example there's you can see yeah there's this tree branch underneath here and you can jump off and grapple to it however you like I do it kind of close like that. Uh, that's not that's just not really my preferred strat, so I, I don't really have practice on it. But yeah, just just get onto that branch wherever you want, and then grapple to this lower area here, and then you can grab onto the ledge and then death blow the uh, the gunner. Uh, this is like really slow, but if you just want to like have it just be as like super safe and extremely easy to do with like, you know, minimal like mechanical ability or whatever, just yeah, this is this is what you can do. And it's like no aggro and all that. And then you can jump on these jump on these branches, grapple to them, and then just walk up to this gunner. Stealth death blow them. Come down here, grapple to the next ledge. And then here you want to if if if, if you're gonna do the slow strat anyway. You want to wait for the gecko to drop down. You want to lock onto it, and then jump off the this upper ledge, and then do an aerial death blow. That's the that's like the most like slow, easy, safe way to do it. You can also like just jump down with it, and then just like do some R ones and just like kill it that way. But if you're gonna do that, you might as well just like go for the full on speedier strat which I'll which I'll get to in the, in the next example but yeah that's how you do that like really really slow like and then yeah you can after that because like the reason you kill the lizard is because if you're gonna go uh shimmy and like ledge walk along this this ledge here uh the lizard can like spit poison at you and it can proc poison which is a hit we're trying to avoid but if, of course if you kill it that can happen And here you just want to get on get on top of this branch however you like it, it there's, you have to wait here anyway so there isn't really a big uh, a big speed incentive and what I like to do is just wait until I can't see this guy's head anymore or like for approximately where you can't see their head anymore and then I do I do a straight jump in the air like neutral like a neutral jump straight in the air and then I hold forward after after I get off the ground and I just do that just to have like the same setup every time where I'm like not jumping in different directions or anything and just like keep it really simple. You can just like sprint jump off the off the branch if you like. It should work out the same way, but this is just how I like to do it. Then you come down and I like to just follow the uh the dark path here where there isn't any snow. Just kind of follow this line. And then around like here like where the snow starts to stop or like maybe just before then, I, I jump off this like triangle bit that juts out. And then once I jump off, I, I do an air kick there. I'll play it again. Just to just to fall slightly faster. Because my philosophy with this little section upcoming is just to get through it as fast as possible. And if you air kick you, yeah, I, I think I said already that you jump or that you fall a tiny bit faster. Not a huge deal. Uh, and like, I think Silsex, he, he doesn't do the air kick thing, but I don't know, I like to just make it just a tiny bit faster, because why not? 
But yeah, grapple to that branch, and then here you want to, at least in my experience, there might be some other runners who like say differently, but I think you don't want you don't want to you don't want to get stuck on this ledge with your with your jump because it, as you know if you've played the game for a lot of ledges if you if you like try to sprint jump off them but you like sprint jump too late you'll get like caught on the ledge and then you can't like and then you won't be moving forward for a period of time like a, you know a fraction of a second so you want to jump before you get to the ledge uh, before you get to the ledge so that you don't like get stuttered or you don't like yeah get stuck on the ledge so that you can keep moving like always be continuously moving and then don't ever get like stuck anywhere and then this scrapple is like really really important because you, you, you'll you see there for like a, a little bit just like a <laughs> gosh let me let me get this thing okay you see that first grapple point in the lower lower part of the screen there it's really common, really common mistake to like accidentally grapple to that point, uh, that like first point that appears, and you don't want to do that because it slows you down, and you, you, yeah, you want to get through here as fast as possible. So the way to avoid that is basically just to like wait a while for the grapple. Like you'll see, like even now, like my grapple's not coming, and I'll just like advance it frame by frame. And yeah, I don't like grapple until I'm like level with the level with the branch or at least just yeah just just keep like waiting it's it's better to wait a little bit longer than to like grapple prematurely and then accidentally hit the uh the wrong grapple point because you want you want to hit this grapple point and then from here what i like to do is just yeah just to keep moving like as fast as possible i just do a little dash and then i jump maybe that like could save you or something if i don't know if like the shots were really close it, it's probably it's probably too too uh paranoid of me but anything to speed up the uh anything to speed up this section is is fine by me because yeah i think i think i don't think sill does the dash jump but i like to do the little dash jump there and then for the slower for the slower strat i've seen sill do this and i think yeah you just sit on this island until you see until you see seven seven yellow triangles there because that means that they're all all of the uh, all of the gunners are like you know yellow aggroed instead of instead of red aggroed, which which you want to do for the next little next little section. And then once you see that, you see that they're all yellow aggroed. Grapple up there, run down to this lower ledge, jump up, and then grapple to this point. And the reason you want to wait until the yellow aggro before you do this is because. I'm pretty sure if if they're red aggroed still and you like grapple up to this point, when you get to the top of this, like when you get right to this grapple point here, if they're already red aggroed, I'm pretty sure they can shoot you here. And yeah, I think that's why people like wait for the yellow aggro back there so that when you grapple up here, they have to red aggro and then shoot you. So that adds a bit of delay to make this, make this strat safe. And then yeah, just dash, dash over to this little corner as soon as you get uh, on top of the grapple there and then from here you want to wait until you want to wait until all of the gunners are yellow aggroed uh don't mind shida fuji she's like always uh, she'll be aggroed pretty much like all of the time sometimes she'll de-aggro but yeah the vast majority of the time she'll she'll still be aggroed so like don't really pay attention to the music for this part just look at for look for what you want to see is that the gunners in front of you are not shooting, like they're not shooting, and they're also yellow aggroed or like, or just like completely de aggroed. So you want to wait for both things. You want to wait for yellow and also for them to stop shooting. And that takes a, that takes a few seconds there. Yeah, like you saw there, yeah, they just shot. And then, yeah, at this point, I, I think it, yeah, it's, it should be safe at this point. But it's, there's no harm in like waiting an extra couple seconds just for, just to be ultra sure. And if you're like really paranoid, you could also wait for just like full de-aggro. Not, not of Shida Fuji, she, I, I don't think it's possible to, to, to de-aggro her right here. But you could wait until like all of the gunners are completely de-aggroed. But there, there isn't really a point to that unless you want to be just like insanely cautious about this. But yeah, after you're, after you're sure that they're yellow and not shooting at you anymore, you can go ahead and rush up to this little this little bridge post and what you want to do 
is yeah, just like get yourself huddled like right in this little grass patch. If you see there's yeah, this this grass patch next to the left bridge post. You want to like have your feet kind of in line with that and have like your body like encompassed by the little grass patch. <laughs> and then yeah, just kind of wait here for them to de-aggro. And if you if if you if you if you've been waiting a while and it seems like the gunners aren't de-aggroing and they're still shooting at you after a while. You you might you might have to reposition because yeah, sometimes it's it's really easy to be like slightly mispositioned next to this post. And so just yeah, just kind of play around with your with your movement like a tiny bit in your exact positioning. Yeah, just like mess around with it a little bit and just wait, just find a spot where they all de-aggro and yeah, I think I found that there. Okay. And then once you know that they're all de-aggroed. Uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna start the next bit. And also, an another thing to note is that in this case, Shirafuji de-aggroed, but it's it's pretty it's pretty common for her to to still be aggroed at this point. So the the combat music will still be playing, her her name will still be up in the uh, up in the upper left corner. So you really have to you have to like not depend on the music. You have to just like see that none of them are shooting and that. Uh, like the, their aggro triangles disappear, so that they're like fully deaggroed, and yeah, they're also not shooting, of course. And then once you're once you're like really sure of that, then you can do like the the the, the critical the critical part of Gunfort is this like next like 10, 15 seconds here. And what you want to do is just like start sprinting and just start sprinting onto the onto the bridge here. Okay. Now I like to stay. A little bit away from the, like the, the edges of the bridge where the where the railing is, just so that I'm sure I'm not being slowed down at all. Because if you if you run into the bridge a little bit, like it, it can slow you down, like mess up the timing, which which you don't want. So yeah, just like run down the bridge, and you'll see that I jump right on this, right on this last brown patch before the before the hole in the bridge. There's this brown patch where there's no snow. I use that as a as a visual marker to to jump right there like every time and just yeah I, in my experience that's just a really good visual cue and it, it it seems to work very well okay then after that yeah you just jump you just jump over and then start falling down here and what I like to do is angle my camera upward as I'm falling so that I can, it might not be necessary, but I think it lets me, it lets me grapple from a little bit, from a little bit uh, lower of a point and like wait a little bit longer for my grapple because the big thing here is you don't want to grapple early. If you grapple early, like if I grappled like right here, uh, it's very common to grapple early and then like have some of the gunners hit you as you're, as you're grappling up. Because yeah, just the timing is off, and that's just uh, that's just it's a dangerous thing to do. And you want to wait, you want to wait like not as long as you can, because there's like a certain window. But you want to wait a fair bit before you grapple. So like yeah, I only grapple. I guess I can go frame by frame here. Yeah, like you see, like my input. Actually, my input's a little bit early. Or that's probably no no. Or yeah, this I think this is acceptable. Like input here, and then yeah, you see that the grapple doesn't actually come out until yeah, way down here is when the grapple actually happens. So yeah, you'll have to practice this and get a feel for it. I think it's the same between. I think this like grappling timing is the same between uh, gachi and, and no gachi in Gunfort. So you, you you probably already have a good feeling for this if you've been if you've been like uh, doing no hit Sekiro for any length of time. But yeah, you can see that the grapple doesn't come out until like you're way down here, and that's and that's a really good place to be. Like you want to be way down here so that you can be really sure that you're not going to get shot. And then, oh, let me replay that. Yeah, coming down here, and then when you get to the top, when you yeah finish the grapple and get to the top of the branch, you want to walk over. You can dash or like sprint, but I, I think it, it's fine to just like walk over, and then just do a jump. Jump that way, and then you want to do a neutral jump right here. Get, get a vertical jump, because I've seen it, it. It's happened like a, a few times, where if you do, like if you if you try to jump as far away as you can, 
it's possible that you'll you won't be able to get the the next grapple which which you know would be really unfortunate and that would count as a hit so yeah you want to get a neutral jump there a vertical jump so that you can turn around and then grapple back here and that little like extra sequence of like jump double jump and then grapple back that's just to avoid a uh, a meme shot as far as I know, it's extremely rare, so you could probably get away for a really long time, maybe even like your whole Sekiro career without needing to do that like extra bit, but just if you want to be really safe, you can do the, uh, or that's what most people do anyway, is the extra jump and then grapple back here. And then once you're back, you want to, yeah, just like get tucked in this corner here and then just have your camera face the, have your camera face such that the, that grapple point right there is, is visible. Uh, and and I, I, I stress the uh, like the camera position or the camera angle here because I, it, I've heard that like enemy AI and like other such things can be affected by like where the camera is. So if you just like make your camera face the same way every time, it, it might help. Maybe it's, I don't know, there's a lot of like paranoia and superstition about all these sorts of things but just just to keep it the same every time just yeah get back on the branch walk over to the corner and then face your camera to the to the grapple point there and then yeah, just wait for wait for them to fully de-aggro you can yeah wait for the music to stop wait for their yellow triangles to to disappear such that they're they're fully de-aggroed and then after that you can just grapple to this point sprint over and then grapple grapple next to there. You can you can take that a bit slower. You don't have to go you don't have to like full sprint through that whole thing. You can you can go fairly slow and then even if they even if they see you like even if you're so slow that they see you as you're doing this, you you can de-aggro them again if you if you hide like down on this ledge here in the shadows. Like if yeah, if they're aggroed up there for some reason, you can wait back down here and just wait for them to de-aggro again in a in an emergency situation. And then while you're down here, even if you're fully de-aggroed, you might hear some shots of them just like shooting at nothing. And you can you, you can be like assured that they're not like shooting at you. Like if you haven't like if the combat music's not playing, if you haven't seen any like red triangles pop up and like you know they're fully de-aggroed, like sometimes they'll just shoot at things and it's nothing it's nothing to do with you really. I like to think that they're shooting at birds or something. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes you'll hear it. Usually you don't, but yeah, sometimes you'll you'll hear shots here when they're they're not shooting at you, like they, they have no idea you're here. But yeah, you can just like keep keep going. And yeah, so you just want to get up to this, get up on top of this ledge, jump up, grab onto this ledge here, and then yeah, and then as always, for these like ledge death blows, you want to be you want to like wait a second. You want to like wait a second to like really make sure that like the the ledge death blow is like there and it's gonna actually like go through because you know i'm sure people have seen or have even experienced like if you see like the the death blow marker like pop up for like a fraction of a second you go for it immediately and then it and then just like disappears right as you right as you go for it and then yeah you, enemies alert you get hit and everything so yeah just like as always make sure that the just like wait a second to make sure the death marker is like there and it's there to stay. So yeah, for the slow strat, you want to death blow him. You can just drop down here and then come, come to this part below the next ledge. Jump up, grab this ledge, and you want to yeah. I I I would if you're gonna be really really safe about this, just grab the next ledge. Such like just do it just yeah just do a straight vertical jump here. Like don't try to do like sideways jumps where you're. Where your like your legs go over the edge, right? Like you wanna, if you're gonna be really safe about it, just um, yeah, like keep it here, like such that even if you miss the ledge grab or something, you you won't you won't like fall to your death, and you'll just like fall back down to the the ledge below. So yeah, just do like some vertical jumps, grab this ledge, and then just like look over, and then yeah, you'll see that the grapple point is already is already available, and you don't need to do like any parkour or anything. Just like look over. And you're like you've planted yourself on the ledge. You're secure. Just look over, and then yeah, just grapple from here. You can. You don't need to do anything. Just yep. See it. Grapple right there. And that's that's just the super 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 easy way. Like no no memes. You know. 
everything's good kind of way to do it. And then yeah, jump up. Yeah, this guy, you... Yeah, same same deal, like make sure the death bolt marker is there to stay. Um, usually if you jump a bit sideways, it's okay. I think I've had it happen before where if you do like... It's like kind of like a sideways jump and then you do and your double jump is to the side as well. I've had it happen where you're like, yeah, if you jump like too far left the uh, and then grab the ledge, like I think I've had it happen before where this gunner sees me. And yeah, just to avoid that, you can like, your first jump can be a little bit leftward there, but then yeah, you always want to have like the second jump just going straight up just to I don't know, avoid any any memes or something where they where they detect you. And yeah, just make sure the death blow marker's there, and then you can yeah go ahead and do the ledge death blow. And then, yeah, if you... Since this is sword only no skills, and you don't have suppressed presence, the... the One of the gunners will, will yellow aggro pretty much every time. And what, and what you want to do for that, or there's, there's probably a number of things you can do, but what I found is just to put yourself in this corner here, and then, yeah, just like wait for... Wait for the gunner to, to de-aggro there. What is it? I In my testing, I've waited like... like Because you can wait further up the path and the and the gunner will de-aggro. But then if you start sprinting, like they, they aggro it again. So I didn't like that. So I think it's... It, I think it, I would recommend to everybody that you, you wait back here, like further back on this path instead of further forward. So uh, that doesn't happen. So that you can like yeah stay back here and then as soon as they de-aggro you can just sprint ahead without it without any worries. Yeah, it'll take a few seconds for them to de-aggro here. Yeah, and then go ahead and just sprint through. You can go, you can like jump further left and like just go straight in front of the front of the next gunner, but I like to go a little bit rightward here. And then do this this jump over to the left. It it doesn't really matter. I think either way is fine. Uh, if you need like if you need like more explanation, like just instead of jumping over here, it's fine to just jump up on this part over here. I think either way, it it doesn't matter at all. But this is just how I like to do it. Yep. Grab grab onto this ledge. Death blow this gunner. And then here you want to be you want to be kind of fast about this. So just like get up on the ledge and then you want to sprint you want to sprint this direction immediately and then yeah like break this or i don't think you need to like take such a wide line and like break all these things but just for the sake of like repeatability and and stuff i, I think it's good to just yeah just like take a wide line so that even if you accidentally take a shallower line uh nothing bad happens but yeah you can just like go around the side here and then for some reason like this, this like shotgunner never aggro's. Like the like the red aggro that you see here is a uh, is like a different one. But like this one, the one that you see on screen right there, it, it doesn't aggro or they don't aggro. And yeah, you can just run on by. And yeah, they 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 aggro like after you pass them. And then here, if you if you really want to grab, if you really need or like want to grab this idol. In my experience, it's fine to just like sit at that idol and then either like run away after that or just rest right at the right at the idol after you uh, sit down at it. But if you want to be like super ultra sure, like insanely safe, you can just come down here where they can't shoot you or see you and just kind of wait for them to to de aggro. You can see them, you can see them yellow aggroed there. I don't think anyone will actually do this. I was just, I just want to. Put out there that they're, you know, if you want to have it be really, really easy and like super comfy and safe, then yeah, these are like some options you can you can consider. And yeah, after they de aggro and, and walk away, you can you can rest at the idol if you need to or or do whatever you need to do. Okay, and then now for the now for the fast example, I won't do as much explaining because I most of the stuff is the same between like the fast and the slow examples. But yeah, here's here's like. Here's what I actually used in runs. So yeah, just come down here. And then what I like to do is jump 
jump right at this this pile of rocks that you see uh, on the like just to the left of the of, of Wolf. Just jump like right next to the, that pile of rocks. There, like that's that's my visual cue about like where to jump approximately. And I do that every time, and it, it it's worked out. And yeah, this is a lot faster than the other way. Just grapple to this point, and then just run past this gunner. And you know, if nothing went wrong, and like you took the right line, they shouldn't like they should never hit you. Uh, if maybe like I like you know I when I when I did this, it was with skills, so I had like suppressed presence. I don't think it makes a difference, but yeah, it, just in case. Like if if you ever get hit here, like maybe maybe it's only maybe it's only consistent for for suppressed presence, but yeah. As far as I can tell, that's safe. And then you, yeah, just... You can either, like, sprint jump here, or even just do, like, a regular jump. You jump off this first branch, you you don't take that grapple, like, the, you don't take the first grapple you see, you come down, and you get this next grapple, and that just, like, saves you... Saves you, like, uh, saves you some time, because you don't have to grapple to multiple things. And then here... Yeah, just, like, walk off, or run off this ledge, and then... And then get this grapple in, in midair. And then here you can just you can just fall off. And since we're gonna go through here go through here really quickly, we don't have to worry about the about the gecko poison. You can just uh, yeah jump like sprint jump off this ledge here, and then double jump to to make the full gap. And then yeah we're we're here the, at the next section of Gunfort. And then here it's the same exact thing with the slow stride. Just wait for. Wait for the gunner to get under the shadows for a little bit, and then you can just yeah just jump off there and then follow the dark path without the without the snow. And then again, yeah, just like jump. I like to jump kinda early here, like either at the line between the snow and the not snow on the on the triangle thing that juts out, or even just a little bit before it, like like you see here, like yeah, just right on the line or a little bit before it. Jump off there, air kick, grapple there. Uh, yeah, here you'll see, here you see like the, yeah, you see, okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to explain this. Okay, so you see the bad grapple point appear first, then the good grapple point appears, and then momentarily the bad grapple point appears again. So yeah, you don't want to go for it super early, like you want to wait, you want to wait until you're, yeah, about like level with the, level with the lower part of the branch, and yeah, you see it like after... After a tiny bit, it goes back to the, the good grapple point. So yeah, just, just like delay your grapple a little bit just to make sure that you're not gonna not gonna grapple to the wrong point. And you can see like exactly what frame I do my, my grapple input. Seems like it's right there. So yeah, just when you're right level with it, you can grapple there, probably practice this, get a feel for it. But yeah, come there, dash jump. And then yeah, for the fast strat. You just you just dash jump straight into the next grapple here and you and you keep going. Okay. And then from here you want to sprint. Do a jump here, double jump off this ledge, or double jump off yeah, the, the wall up to this ledge. And then sprint start sprinting again, and then you want to you want to come up here or come over here and then do do a sprint jump off this off this part. And just jump across this gap. This this takes some this takes a fair amount of practice to get used to. It, it's not that hard. I would just if you're gonna do this, I would suggest like doing it many times just to just to get a good feeling for for the timing and everything. And like yeah, just familiarity. And you want to jump across that that like ledge gap because if you just like wall walk along the ledge, you you can it's possible to get shot. It's extremely rare. But it is possible. I've, I've had it happen to me on a run. Uh, there's a clip out there somewhere. But I, I, I've done like a... Like sort of a recreation that I'll, I'll show you guys later. But yeah, just jump across that gap. Uh, and then make it here. Oh! Went way ahead. Yeah, and then like with the other strat, you want to you wanna get tucked into this corner here. And then, yeah, what makes this strat faster is you don't have to wait down there for the for the gunners to yellow aggro before you come up here. Like you're already here. And then, yeah, once you see, so, so take a take a couple seconds to sit here and like look look out at the at the gunners up ahead. 
Yeah, and just you want to make sure that they're yellow aggroed and that they stop shooting. Uh, it's fine if they're if they're fully deaggroed, but just yeah, mostly just make sure that at least like some of them are yellow and then and then they're the, and that they're not shooting at you. And and again with like like with the slow strat, you could wait until they're like fully deaggroed, such that their their yellow triangles don't appear at all. But you don't need to do that. As soon as they're yellow aggroed and they stop shooting at you for a few seconds, you it's, it's safe to just run up ahead. And then yeah, with the same exact thing with the slow strat, just get to uh, position yourself on this patch of grass by the by the bridge post, and then wait for them to wait for them to fully deaggro. And then again here, Shidafuji deaggroed, but she uh, she doesn't do it every time. I, I swear she doesn't do it every time. It's just in these two examples I have, she she did. Yeah, and then same thing, just. When they're when they're fully deaggroed, and they stop shooting at you, you can you can start sprinting on the bridge, and then yeah, just or at least this is how I like to do it. I, I stay around the middle of the bridge, and just slowly come across to, to or not slowly come across. I mean, I drift a tight. The, the reason I said so, you, I drift like a tiny bit. Like I start from the left side here, and I and I slowly drift to the middle as I go along. But yeah, you want to get to you want to get to this part of the bridge as fast as possible, and then same thing with the slow strat. Just jump right on right on that that brown that brown patch where there isn't snow, and then coming down. And then here, this is actually a good thing. Uh, this is how you know that you you you're not grappling early. <laughs> you come down here. Let's see. When do I actually input my grapple? Yeah, you like you're falling. I'm, you see, my, my stick is pointed up like I'm angling my camera up just to make sure that I, I'm, I'm not going to miss the grapple. Yeah, and then I start to get a, start to get a death cam. And then, yeah, I don't think, I don't know if the death cam is, re is reactable, it might be. Like, I don't think I reacted in one frame <laughs> to, the, to the death cam, but yeah, just, just get a feeling for it. And you have like a fair, you have a fair amount of time in the death cam before you, before you like actually uh, get a void fall. Yeah, even when you're down here, yeah, you see I'm still falling. Yeah, you can get a grapple this late, and, and getting a grapple this late is actually, uh, it's it's actually a good thing because if you grapple this late, you know with like certainty that you're not you're not doing an early grapple. Uh, but yeah, if you want to do that, just yeah, make sure to practice it and like get a good feeling for it. And that's kind of what it looks like in real time. And then yeah, same thing with the slow strike. Come over, get a vertical jump, and come back over. And then wait for them to wait for them to fully deaggro. Waiting, waiting, waiting. The yellow is there. The music is gone. They stop shooting. And then when when the yellow triangle fully disappears, then you can grapple to the next point. Sprint over. Grapple to the next point. Come over. Okay, and then here's where it's a little different from the it's a little different from the slow strat. You still you still need to death blow this guy, like you you always have to do that. But here, if you're if you're positioned like like if you started right around here, like you know, at this position on the ledge, death blow the gunner, and then turn just turn your camera around, look at the next grapple point, uh point your point your 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 left stick forward while you're Cameras facing this direction, and then you can jump. You can jump out, or you can yeah do do a jump input to to get this backflip, and then you can you can get this grapple. And this this has been consistent for me every time. Like this is what I normally do. Just yeah, face back here, point the stick, and then jump. And then you'll yeah you'll move far enough over here that you'll you'll get the grapple every time. At least if you if you do the grapple input, you'll you'll get the grapple. So yeah, that that's the faster way to do that. And then here should be should be largely the same as the slow strat. Just wait here for that that one gunner to deaggro. They're deaggroed, sprint over, jump up, jump left, grab the ledge, that's what the gunner, and then this part is exactly the same, just sprint over. For some reason, that shotgunner doesn't aggro, like the, the one that aggroed is one that is off screen right now. Just run past them. 
and then yeah just proceed on to centipede or or get the idol or or whatever you want to do after that that's but yeah that's that's gun for it okay so now we're on to the mistake section and this part and this the, this first example isn't really a mistake really it's more like i'm just showing uh I'm showing like a, a special case if if something goes not not wrong but like there's like a rare RNG basically where this gunner that you're you that you usually just death blow right here there's a rare RNG where they like somehow get mispositioned like their position is different so that you you can't death blow them from the normal spot so I'll show I'll show a way to deal with that cuz I've seen it like it's happened to me once and I've seen it happen to another person where yeah this gunner wasn't like their positioning was slightly off because of for whatever reason so you have to like do something a little bit different and the first thing you should try to do is just like shimmy like along like the whole length of the wall and then just see if there's any point where see if there's any point where you uh you can death blow them because like yeah if you can do that then just take it because this whole like like i'm showing here like this whole ledge is like safe to just to be on like they won't notice you and you can even like do a you can even do a couple like slashes there. I'm just like showing that it's really safe, like none of them notice you here. And then I come back and then this gunner is positioned just fine. But just as just to just to show you like what to do, if if the gunner is mispositioned and like you can't death bowl them from like any point on the ledge, you can come over to this, you can come over to the far left here. You can do you can do when it happened to me, I just did one ledge slash thing but i'm just showing here that you can do a bunch of them and like they just i don't i don't think it i don't think they ever notice you like i think you can do as many as you want and they don't notice you and then you see here that uh the gunner notices and uh they you know investigate a little bit like they don't move very much but you know they they'll you know the hope is that they'll move enough so that they they get back and in, back into position so that you can death blow them uh, yeah death blow them and then from there the from there you can just proceed as normal. Okay. And this next this next bit is like a legitimate like bad idea. Okay. Okay. So, when you when you get onto the island with Shirafuji and if you like jump up here and if for some reason like you want to take uh this like wall, this like ledge walk shimmy thing. Uh I had it happen to me one time where like I was going as fast as I can. And I was like, you know, even doing like the fast shimmy, just trying to get across this as fast as possible. I had it happen to me where, where Shirafuji came over and she shot me while I was while I was uh doing the, the ledge walk. The shimmy, whatever you want to call it. And here I'm just showing that yeah, the it's it's possible for her to take aim and, and just yeah, shoot you and then and then your run is dead. <laughs> like uh I don't know if I lost the run to that, but yeah, there's there's a clip of that floating out there somewhere of the of the actual incident in the in the run or during an attempt anyway. So yeah, so just uh granted this this scenario is extremely rare. So you could you, you'll if you do this, you probably will never see this, but it is it is a thing that is possible to happen. So I just I want to advise people to not not like do the the lead shimmy here because you can get shot. It's better to do like the two other methods that I that I showed in the examples, and then here, what am I showing? Oh, okay, I'm showing that if you if you like don't go in like the middle of the bridge and you like want to like run into the bridge here, you'll see that I'm moving a bit slower than I than I than I would otherwise since I'm like angling myself into the railing and like slowing myself down. Uh, I think there are some like speed run strats that use this. Uh, but if you're gonna do like a sort only, if you're gonna do like the the hitless consistent strat, like you you shouldn't do this. Just just as like an advisory, and like nothing bad happened here, but just like moving that much slower, it it can, it can uh you know throw the timing off and then cause like problems later down the line. And then yeah, here like I, I get the death plane grapple again, and like yeah, nothing bad happens, but just. It is possible for for things to go wrong, and yeah, unless you do like everything exactly right, 
there's like a lot of like RNG elements start to start to come into play. Like a lot of the time you can make like you can be honestly there's like a lot of like little sloppy mistakes you can do around gun for and you'll probably be fine. But then but then it starts to starts to become RNG. So yeah, you just wanna you just wanna do everything as as uh, as correct as you possibly can. And then here, here I'm just showing that uh, that that was a fine grapple. It, it was a little bit early because he didn't get the death plane, but it it doesn't matter. Like that was that was that was well late enough. So here I'm showing why why you shouldn't uh, like do like here. Uh, okay, so I I get the first jump. And then my double, and then like my double jump is like a you know like a horizontal jump where I, where I move a lot further away, and like ninety five percent of the time, maybe even like ninety nine percent of the time, like it's totally fine to do this. You you probably won't get too far away, but I'm just showing that it is possible. Okay, so it is the grapple point is green there, but you'll see that like I yeah I've already I've already input I've already inputted the. Uh, the grapple here but like yeah like literally like the frame after i do the grapple input the the grapple becomes unavailable and i and i miss it because I, i'm like too far away or the or the rocks are obstructing my my line of sight or, or or whatever but yeah it's possible i'm just showing that it's possible to uh to like to miss the grapple this way so i i, I don't advise people to uh i don't advise people to do like a, a whole like a horizontal double jump like just do the vertical double jump just so you don't like have this have this unfortunate meme happen to you oh okay and then i think this is the last mistake i think this is the last mistake i'm showing here yeah so you're you're here you're you're death blowing the the gunner like normal but if for whatever reason you happen to drift too far to the right here and like you you try to do the fast strat where like you 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 jump away from the ledge and then immediately grapple. If you're if you're too far over here, like like I am here, uh, and you try to to get this grapple by like after get this grapple after jumping off here, yeah, you'll see that I immediately get I immediately get uh, detected and 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 aggroed or, or they aggro to me. So like yeah, you wanna. You want to like make sure if you're gonna do the fast strat, like it, it, the fast strat's totally consistent, as far as I can tell. Like it's, in all my experiences, it's, it's been completely consistent. You just have to make sure to to jump off like further to the left here, right? But if you if you yeah, if you're too far to the right, which it it, 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 <laughs> it happened to me like early on, like when I was just starting out with like sure a sword only. Like I was too far over to the right, and like I had this happen. So yeah, it's just it's just been in my mind ever since. So yeah, don't don't be too far to the right here. And then yeah, you, you jump off, and then that that gunner that gunner aggro's. And you can try to save it. I it, I, I think I think if it happens, like it you're you're kind of just. You're, you're kind of like a leaf in the wind at this point. Like anything could happen. Cause like, and just in just this one instance, like I I only did this once just to just to like record footage and like prove a, like show how show how wrong it was. And in this one instance, this this gunner like ran all the way over here, and then started trying to started trying to shoot me. I I, I guess you could like, you could like wait in a different spot to try to make sure that they they never see you. But yeah, they saw me here. I let them shoot the rock, and then I I walk up and just do, I just like kill them slowly <laughs> which is fine to do like it's not super dangerous but like yeah like all of this there's just like no telling what's gonna happen like you know it's there's like too many moving parts now you don't know if you're gonna get shot at any at any moment and uh, I think I do actually like make it through your hit list but it was really like you don't want this to happen to you is, is just what I'm trying to get across Yeah, and I'm trying to wait here to like maybe yeah things are things are deaggroing and like calming down. Hopefully. And I, yeah, I'm just trying to like sneak around and then eventually I, I I get through. But yeah, like this turned out to be okay. <laughs> but like yeah, you like I'm saying or like I said, you don't want this to happen to you. Okay, but that's yeah that's the video and 
from here on, there'll just be the slow example, the raw video, and the fast example, uh, raw video, just to, just for reference, if you don't want to like hear me ramble about everything. Okay. All right. See ya. Goodbye.
Oh, <laughs> 